Hello guys, welcome back to another video and today's focus will be VR settings in Assetto Corsa Competizione. Now the VR headset that I'll be using will be the Meta Quest 2 or Oculus Quest 2, whichever one you want to call it. So bear that in mind with the instructions I'm about to give you. I also want you guys to bear in mind that whatever frames per second that you're used to getting from your normal games, whether it be 220, 120 or 60, Whatever you're used to getting, you can forget that when it comes to ACC on VR. This guide will focus on getting you a smooth gameplay experience with the best visual clarity that your PC can run using the ASW technology that's built into the Quest 2 headsets. To give a brief explanation on what ASW technology is, a headset will detect if the game that you're running is losing frames. What it now does is it tells your computer, tells your PC to halve the amount of frames. So it will say, give me 45 frames per second and the ASW technology will compensate for the additional 45. So technically you're getting 45 frames per second but the AI enhancement in ASW will smooth it out so it feels like you're still getting 90. Think of it as kind of like a DLSS for VR. So. With that said, let's get straight into this and I'll show you guys how I've got my VR running. So to start this off, let's um, to put it into perspective, this is my rig. So you can see I've got the uh, GeForce RTX 3070, Ryzen 7 5800X processor and 32 gigs of RAM. RAM speed is CL16 and it's 3200 MHz. So if you have a higher spec PC than this, you could copy these as a base, my settings, and then raise it higher until you reach your limit. Or if you have a lower spec PC, vice versa. So copy this, these settings as a base and then lower it until you have smooth performance. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to the Oculus app, click devices. I already had it open here. So you want to click your device, go to graphics preferences and set it to 90 Hertz and change the rendering resolution so by default when you set it to 90 Hertz if you don't untick that you can see that it puts it there so if you untick that it allows you to move this slider I believe I had it at that so it's 4128 by 2096 so round about 4k that's what we're going for once your headset restarts then you're going to want to navigate to wherever you've installed your Oculus app. You can see with me it's in C, Program Files, Oculus. So you're going to go there, then you're going to open the support folder, open the Oculus Diagnostics folder, and you're going to open the Oculus Debug tool. You're going to scroll down to Visible HUD, and you're going to turn on Performance, and you're going to leave this on for the entire time that you're messing with the settings until you have smooth settings and the visual performance that you would like and what it will look like is something like this it's a bit of a blurry photo on Google but you're gonna get this will always be on your VR headset as I mentioned in the intro we're gonna go for ASW so by setting it to 90 Hertz it's gonna halve and it will be down here but what you're looking for is a line like that completely smooth so keep messing with the settings so that throughout the duration of a race this line is completely smooth so with that said, let's launch ACC and I'll show you the settings I'm running in there. First thing you want to do, I oh, did that a bit quick there, you want to click this here, Manage Custom Video Presets, and you want to create a preset. So call it Test or whatever you want. Um, I'm not going to save that because I've already done this. So these are the three settings that I'm most likely to use. So what creating presets does is it allows you to if you change something that you don't like you can just quickly go back to a preset so I'm gonna load up this one here to show you guys what I'm running 